Hey, how's it going? Um, today I'm just gonna talk a little about why you need to not have a knee-jerk reaction when you're in security. And the reason is that, you know, we might have the impulse to, when we see something, we're like, oh no, you know, the sky is falling, um, you know, chicken little. But we really have to be careful to have a measured uh, approach towards security. And the reason is that, you know, there's only a few times that you're going to be able to cry wolf and, um, or, you know, say that the sky is falling. So you want to take that into consideration. Save those like really big alarms for when it, when it's going to matter. And, um, like take zoom, for example, zoom, had some issues, it had some security issues, um, some privacy issues. I think it was more privacy than security. Um, from a security perspective, uh, they were advertising things that they weren't necessarily doing or they were using terminology that was, um, that implied certain things, but so they weren't doing those, those kind of things. Um, so that's something to take into consideration. And so, but they corrected it. But the thing is, <laughs> uh, a lot of companies just freaked out. Okay, a lot of companies freaked out and uh, banned Zoom. And I'm, I'm actually dealing with that now. Um, you know, I work with several different companies and their customers have banned Zoom and they're not, not sure what to do. So that's something to take into consideration. Uh, don't have a knee-jerk reaction, right? These companies that have banned Zoom or banned whatever, because listen, all of them are going to have issues. And as I predicted, uh, all of them did have it. Teams had some issues afterwards. Uh, hangouts had some issues. Everybody had issues, right? So, um, you know, having a knee-jerk reaction is not the best practice, especially when it's going to affect business. So, what I want to uh, communicate to you is that when you're in security and you see something really crazy out there, you see a headline or whatever, read into it. Read the technical details. See what's going on. Read multiple articles read the act uh, go as close to the source as possible okay investigate yourself look at what's the what's going on and make an assessment from uh from your own knowledge and and depend on other uh or get a variety of experts if you don't have the, the knowledge it's fine a lot of people might not have the expertise or whatnot then go out there and 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 get the different opinions and and take the time to see different opinions um, of people you trust uh, because you're gonna have just that a lot of opinions and so um, you want to base a decision that you make on as much fact as possible and just understand it. it's going to be really custom to your business and to your environment uh, wherever you are so I hope that helps um, you know just don't have a knee-jerk reaction please like that's not gonna be helpful to anybody so anyway that's about it I'm going to go enjoy this coffee and uh, talk to you again later. Bye.